Ooh, new shoes, new shoes. Look at my brand new shoes. Ooh, there we are. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm all soaked. It's raining. Oh, dear. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. Just the place to come on a rainy day like today. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, what do you think? I think you should take your shoes off the counter, Ben. You never, ever, ever put shoes on the kitchen worktop. It'll go dirty. No, they won't, Small. Not today. These are my brand new squiggy clean sandals. Perfect for walking along the beach. Which is where I'm off to right now. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Today is not the day to go to the beach with new sandals. They'll get ruined. Oh. I was really looking forward to standing on the sand and listening to the sea. Whoosh, whoosh. Mm. Oh, come on, Ben, cheer up. Hey, why don't we play a game before our first customer arrives? That might take your mind off the sea. It might. Hmm, what game to play? Oh, I know. We'll play a game called Which Shoes. It's a guessing game. It's brilliant. OK, I'll go first. Um, I'm a runner, and I run, run, run. Which shoes do I wear to have fun, fun, fun? Well, which shoes do runners wear? Oh, right, I, I, I guess do I. Oh, right, um, OK, which shoes do runners wear? Which shoes do runners wear? Do you know? Shout out the answer for me. Go on. Oh, I know, I know. Runners wear trainers. Right, first time, Ben. <laughs> right, OK, my go, my go. Um, right, yeah. I'm a dancer and I twizzle around on my twinkle toes. <laughs> Which shoes do I need? Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Do you know? Oh, I do. It's ballet shoes. Yeah, ballet shoes. I couldn't really wear these to the beach, could I? <laughs> oh, come on, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. Oh. I'm on my way. Who is it today, Small? Well, she's wearing blue and she's carrying a bucket and spade. And what shoes is she wearing? Blue trainers. Oh, I know who it is. I know. It's little Betty Blue. She's here on holiday. You're right. Little Betty Blue lost a holiday shoe. What should Betty do? Give her another, just like the other, and then she can walk out in two. <laughs> so now we've got to decide what to cook for Little Betty Blue. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Little Betty and I were at the beach together yesterday. It was a lovely sunny day and Little Betty was wearing a pair of brand new shoes. I thought they looked so comfy. Will you take one off, Little Betty? I asked. It looks just the right size for me to sit in. And it was. She held me up in the air. It was just like being in an aeroplane. <coughs> she cried as she whisked me round and round above her head. And we laughed and laughed. A family of crabs were watching. They all shouted, Can we have a go? But we were having too much fun to pay any attention. Then little Betty decided that we should build a sandcastle. So I got out of the shoe and started to help her. With one shoe on and one shoe off, Little Betty Blue filled her bucket with sand and we built the castle higher and higher. When the castle was finished, she put a beautiful little flag on the very top. There, she said, a castle fit for a little cook. But then she looked round and gasped. Her shoe had disappeared. Oh, not again, she wailed. I'm always losing my holiday shoe. But I had an idea where it might have gone. And I was right. The crabs were having their turn. This is just like being in a car, they cried. Brum, brum, or a 
a brand new house. And they laughed and laughed. Little Betty really needed her shoe back, so I had to come up with one of my best ideas ever. I looked down the beach and saw the perfect thing. A big shell. The crabs were happy to swap the shoe for the shell. They got inside it and pretended it was a train, then a rocket and a boat. This is fun, they cried, and they laughed and laughed. Thanks, Little Cook Small. Our new shell is such fun, they called, and Betty and I made our way home. Betty was so happy to have her shoe back, and she said she'd never lose it again. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. And Betty got her shoe back all because you had a brilliant idea, Small. Oh, well done, you. Wow! Well, thank you very much, Ben. So now you need to have a brilliant idea for what we can make for Little Betty Blue. Oh, yes. Another brilliant idea for Little Betty Blue. Hmm. Ooh. Ah. Oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Woohoo! Oh, yes! Have I found the perfect thing or what? It's something to remind little Betty of all the fun she had at the seaside. Veggie sandcastles. Yippee! Well, you read out the ingredients, little Cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need an onion. Onion in the fridge. Over we go. One onion. Got that. A pepper. One pepper in there as well. Got that too, Small. Frozen peas. Frozen peas in the freezer. There we are. Frozen peas, yep. Yeah. Turmeric. Turmeric. That turns the sand yellow. OK. So, turmeric to turn the sand yellow, but what are we going to use for sand, Small? Long grain rice. Long grain rice, OK. And tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, we haven't got any tomatoes, Small. Oh, no. Don't worry, Small. We've got all the other ingredients. Hey, why don't you whisk off and find some? Oh, yes, of course. <sighs> hey, why don't you come along too? Off we go! Small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo choo! Oh, looks like I'm in the right place. Gosh, that's the biggest greenhouse I've ever seen. Let's go inside and see what's growing in the greenhouse. Come on. Oh, do you know what they are? They're tomatoes. And look, this man is picking them. The tomato plant grows out of the soil. And hundreds of tomatoes grow on its vines. When the tomatoes are young, they're green. And then they turn bright red when they're ready to eat. Ooh, lovely red, juicy tomatoes. These tomatoes are being grown in a greenhouse because it's nice and hot and the warmth helps the tomatoes to grow. Ooh, it's too hot in here for me. I'd better dash. Oh, if only I could have gone to the beach. The waves lapping at the shore. Whoosh, whoosh. The sound of the sea. Whoosh, whoosh. Whee! I'm back! You can't dream about the sea now, Ben. 
I've got the tomatoes! Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hoo! Wow! They're so lovely and red. I saw this man who was picking them. They grow on plants, you know. Lovely. Let's cook. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to veggie sandcastles? You do. There was an onion, half chopped, a pepper, Half sliced. Frozen peas. Half a cup. Turmeric. One teaspoon. Long grain rice. 150 grams. And tomatoes. Four. Chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started! Right, Ben, you get going on the recipe while I make the flag for the top of the sandcastle. Now, I've heated some olive oil in a saucepan. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that for you. Shall I do it red or blue, Ben? Red. No, blue. No, both. Both! Now put the onions, peppers, and the turmeric into the saucepan. And give it a good stir for about five minutes. Shall I do it stripes or spots, Ben? Stripes. No spots. No, do both. Stripes and spots. OK, so it's red and blue, stripes and spots. OK. This looks pretty good. Time to add the rice. And the tomatoes. And just enough water to cover them. And then we bring them to the boil. Ben! Ben, I've just had an idea! Why don't I draw a picture of little Bessie Blue in the middle of the flag? Oh, yes, Mole. That is a brilliant idea. Oh, I'm full of them today, aren't I? So it's red and blue, stripes and spots, with a picture of little Bessie Blue in the middle. Here goes! Aha! There we are. It's boiling now, so... Turn it down and let it cook slowly for 15 minutes until the rice is soft. Pop the lid on and now we have to do some waiting. Hmm. I'll set the timer. Yes, it looks just right. There we go. Now, here's a little tip for you. If it looks a little bit dry, you can always put a little bit more water in. Now it's time to add the peas. Giving it a good stir. There we go. How's your flag coming, Small? Coming along, Ben. I've done the stripes, see, and the spots. Now all I've got to do is put Little Bessie Blue in the middle. Good, because our veggie sandcastles will be ready very soon. There we are. Turn the heat down. Now, I've greased a beaker with a little butter, and I'm going to spoon in the mixture. There we go. A little more. Very nice. 
press it down firmly with your spoon and then leave it to cool for five minutes. Little Betty Blue is ready. And here's the best bit. I'm going to place the plate on top of the beaker, like that, and very carefully turn them over. There we go. And slowly remove the beaker. There we are. Ta-da! Oh, very nice. What do you think of that, Small? Fantastic! And it's about to get even better. I've stuck my flag on a straw so that you can put it in the middle of the sandcastle. I think of everything, don't I? As I said before, you're brilliant, Small. Quick, Ben, get it off to Bessie Blue now whilst it's still nice and warm. OK, then, here we go. One veggie sandcastle coming through. There. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Ah, here comes the plate. And she's left us a beautiful shell and a note, a postcard. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you so very much for my delicious veggie sandcastle. It reminded me of all the fun I had with Little Cook Small on the beach. Woohoo! But because Big Cook couldn't come and missed out on all the fun, I'm giving him this shell. If you hold it up to your ear, you can hear something very special. Oh, Ben! Ben, isn't that kind? Well, what can you hear? Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh, Small, you'll never guess. I can hear the sea. Oh, so now I don't have to go to the beach in the rain after all. I can stay right here. Whoosh! Whoosh! See you soon! See you soon!